Welcome to The Devil's Lair with Randy Meadows and Todd Gann. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download at www.audibletrial.com slash devil's lair. Over 100,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Welcome back, everybody, to the Devil's Lair. Uh, another great week. I'm I'm uh, your co-host Randy Meadows, and I'm the other co-host Todd Gann. We're certainly glad you're here with us tonight, and I uh, look forward to another great show, and hopefully get some good information out to you folks about these uh, kids here in this community and great things that are going on. That's right, man. Spring sports are starting to wind down, and spring's in the air, and That's, it's downright hot out there. It, it is, you know. Heck, spring sports is wrapping up. School's wrapping up, Randy. Five more Mondays is what I understand. Five more Mondays? Not that any one of my house is counting, but I believe that's what the <laughs> what they said uh, Monday morning when they got up after this Monday. Five more Monday mornings. <laughs> that's not bad. I mean, you know, it's, it will be here before you know it. <clears throat> certainly will. Yeah. So, yeah. anyways, well, <clears throat> with all that going on, everything good. I guess we need to touch on something that's not really good going on. Yes, and, Randy, we and, do. And uh, that's the 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 bombing in, in Boston, which was. Everybody, I'm sure, is well aware of it now, but, you know, our thoughts and prayers still go out to those people who are up there in Boston, and they, uh, you know, they're going to have a hard time for a little while, you know, I can't imagine. You know, you can't, um, you know, as more and more personal stories are coming out, you kind of really see the reality of what happened and what some of these folks are going through, and, you know, um, it's a tragic situation. It's a shame that um, in this day and time we have to deal with some idiots out there doing this type of stuff and um, you know and I certainly feel like they'll find out whoever it was and <clears throat> I know. heard they had a suspect well you know earlier today I think CNN reported they actually had uh, someone uh, in custody but then they uh, retracted that story um, uh, okay so um, you know I'm sure they got some persons of interest and I, you know I feel confident they'll find out who it is and you know uh, certainly I I hope they do, and I don't yeah. know why somebody would do something that just ridiculous. Well, you know, know, you go up there, and you know, as a participant in the Boston Marathon, that's the last thing on your mind. You know, you you start out, and you know, you probably get that runner's high, and you're you're going through the whole process there, and you reach the end, and you know, wow, what a uh, what a shock that would be to you, Randy, and you know, um, all the excitement building up to it, and. Um, the atmosphere, and then just to have something like that happen, you know, kind of, kind of, you know, and there's been some, you know, folks kind of, you know, compared to the Olympics back in um, Atlanta and what happened up there, and you know, kind of a similar situation, and how tragic it was, and unexpected it was. So, you know, once again, our thoughts and prayers certainly go out to those folks, and you know, and it, Tiff Cannon was not immune to it. No, we had a few people from around this area who were actually up there, and um, <clears throat> we're trying to uh, actually have one of them call in. Yeah. I, I don't know if he'll be able to today right, or not, but right. uh, it's Mr. Mike Beeman, right. and a lot of people know him throughout our community. He is a teacher at high school, and I, I don't personally know him, but my sister had him in uh -huh, school, right. and she told me that he's the teacher that does handstands, and he's Listen, just full he of energy. He is uh, B-Man, as he's known. <clears throat> B-Man, uh, yeah. He's a, he's a unique individual. Um, you know, he's been teaching for a long time, and uh, you know, he uh, he's one of those guys that um, tries to do things different, tries to engage the kids, have fun with them, and make school fun as it can be. Uh, marketing teacher at the high school has done that for a number of years, and you know, kids that have gone through the marketing program that uh, he's taught, uh, you know, gone on to do well, and you know, it, and not only kids in Tiff County, kids that he's taught in other communities as well. I mean, he's been in touch with quite a few of them over the years, and. Um, you know, I, heck, he's got uh, one kid that he taught that's a famous baseball player. Brian Wilson. That's exactly right. <laughs> Not the Beach Boy, Brian Wilson. Not the Not Beach Boy. Be confused. That's but. exactly right. You know, <clears throat> and uh, he plays with the Giants, and uh, he, you know, has kept up with him over the years, and they, you know, have a good friendship there and talk from time to time. So um, you never know what life you're going to touch as, you know, as an educator. Yeah, that's, that's right. And, 
you know, it, it's it's amazing, and and we're just thankful that he made it back. Absolutely, you know? he and his daughter Melanie. Yeah, he and his he and his daughter. So uh, they're back and doing well. Mm-hmm. So, well, let's don't dwell on the no, negative. Let's, let's move on. <clears throat> let's work on something positive. Absolutely. That's what we're here for. Absolutely. So, um, air rifle. Let's talk about it real quick, man. We, uh, you know, we had a, our last show. We had a segment with uh, Brooke Hester. Right. She was headed up to state in right. Columbus, mm-hmm. and she competed. 67 total shooters were at this match. Right. Mm-hmm. And she um, she come away with eighth place. Right. That's exactly right. <clears throat> and uh, just, you know, kudos to her. Phenomenal job. Um, you know, and I think, you know, with that place in eighth, she actually qualified where she could compete in the final round, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And, uh, you know, the story there is that uh, as much as she wanted to compete in the final round, junior, senior was the same night. And um, as the competition was going to be held, and she chose to come home to go to her junior senior. What do you think about that, Randy? Oh, <laughs> I don't know, man. That, it's like bittersweet because you know it is. Kids got to be kids, but man, you know, you, you, it's junior senior. You that, need to go. Well, you her, need to experience so many things that, in life. You know exactly, and I think that was her mind says, <clears> "Look, this is I'm a senior. This is my junior senior." I'm going to my junior senior. I don't blame you her. You know, uh, you, you can't. You know, she had a... She you, shot her last match. She and did, and she did very well. And I know she's proud of what she's done. And um, I know Coach Rucker's certainly proud of her as well. And, um, yeah, I, you know, that's a, that's a you know big decision. But, I, hey, I think she made the right decision. Yeah. We were all hoping she'd get to go up there and shoot and come back that's and right. make it. But it just didn't work out that way. That's but right. I don't know that being... In that situation, being that young, I probably would have done the exact same oh, thing. Oh, yes, exactly. As an adult, we look at it as, oh, man, how do you do that? That's, you know, <laughs> when the responsibility factor rolls into play. But, <clears throat> you know, I think she did right there. I, I do, too. You know, you know, she made that decision on her own, and, you know, and uh, that's, that's learning and growing. Hey, man. Uh, something to be said about a free meal and some dancing. I tell you that, buddy. Uh, <laughs> if I got a call right now, I said, "Hey, man, I'm gonna buy you supper tonight, and I want to go dancing. I'm, I'm there. I'm going." So, yeah, I can see that. Man, I'm, I'm sure it's gonna start blowing up now any second. It, yeah, make sure I've got it on where I can hear it, so I can get that call. So those offers can come in. They're gonna come in. Yeah. So, but uh, congratulations to her, man. She's worked her behind she off. She has great year and great That's great right. season for the whole uh, team. Yeah, exactly. So they finished strong, and now maybe she can take a break from shooting. And you know, hey. go back to living a regular life. I <laughs> guess I don't know what you do after you finish shooting. Uh, you know, rifle. you know, and I don't know what regular life is for kids this day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we like to think we do. Sometimes we really don't. We're, we're out of touch. <laughs> we're so out of touch. So, what else you got, Todd? Well, you know, that's wrapping up. Um, you know, Jim Devils. Um, that's coming to a close here shortly. The uh, actually the. Jim Devils will travel to Atlanta this uh, this Friday, and uh, they're competing in the state qualifier. So you know, time's drawing near, and once the qualifier is over, the next Friday will actually be the state meet, um, and they'll of course um, look for big things out of uh, our gym team. I know they'll do well at the qualifier, and I know we'll have some girls that'll qualify for state. And um, you know, if you get a chance, go to uh, ghsa.net next Friday, and um, they're going to be streaming that competition live. Um, you know, once again, JHSA has really stepped up to the plate. They're doing a phenomenal job with trying to promote these kids in the state of Georgia. And, um, you know, it's, They uh, have. Have you been to the website and see it you know, revamped? I have not. I, I, you know, I think about it from time to time. Of course, it's when I'm either riding in the car and, you know, you're not supposed to pull up your phone, smartphone and start looking on the internet and surfing the internet what? or texting. You're not? You're not supposed to, Randy. Okay. I just, you know, FYI there. It don't say nothing about iPads, though, right? Well, you know, I do get behind you from time to time. And I, I've <laughs> noticed you swerve. I guess that's what it is. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, um, a couple of girls, Beth Roberts and Libby Barber, um, actually competed in uh, Jackson, uh, Mississippi here recently at a USA meet and uh, did very well. Um, you know, Beth is actually going to go to Minnesota, and um, she's going to compete in a um, junior Olympics meet. Wow. You know, so um, you know, way to go, Beth. You know, that's a big shout-out to her. Uh, is she, there a date on that? When that um, you know, I don't have a date. Um, <clears throat> it's probably I, well, it's, it's in May. I yeah. know it's in May. Um, so we'll have to follow up on that. And, you know, I you know, know the Roberts, and, you know, I really um, hopefully we'll be able to get in touch with them and maybe – um, get Beth uh, sit down and do an interview with us. Yeah, that'd be great. It would be great. So, um, you know, looking forward to that. So, um, you know, their season's wrapping up. It won't be long, and uh, 
they'll, they'll have another <clears throat> record season in the books. That's right. Um, uh, another positive coming out of that is Libby Barber uh, signed uh, exactly uh, to go to college at Cortland, which is up in uh, it's the State University of New York right. at Cortland. Right. Uh huh. And so she's going north. Wow. You know that. <laughs> She's going to the big city. Wow, you know, to go from Tifton, Georgia to <laughs> New York. Taking country to the city. Yeah, wow. That's um, one piece of cornbread at the time. <laughs> so, yeah, um, you know, wish her very, you know, a lot of success up there. I know she'll do very well. And, well, you know, I'm sure they've been up there and visited and looked around. Well, and you, know, you just don't you, walk off the streets of no, Tifton, Georgia just, and New York. You, you, know, just don't, don't you just don't wake up one morning and say, hey, I'm moving to New York, going to college up there. <laughs> yeah. so, You're going to go check it out first. That's right. So uh, her, but, uh, her family's not just going to let her up and go to New York. No, good they're reason, not. So. They're not. You know, and I recently learned that I know I know her dad. Um, he's actually one of our customers, comes in from time to time, and uh, good folks there. Um, they really are, and I certainly uh, shout out to the Barber family. That's right. I know they're proud of their daughter. As they should be. Uh, so, yeah, absolutely. Um, Libby... Uh, Libby's got a 4.0 grade point average, and she's in the top 4% of her class. So wow, right there where she, you and I were at. It, well, right, just right, right there at where me and you were at. Yeah, yeah, I'm so, sure. <laughs> um, she's a superior honor student and is a senior superlative. So Man, wow. she's got a, a lot of accolades just right there, and that's not to mention the, the tons of gymnastics titles and exactly. you know, that's exactly soon right. add another state title that's to exactly her right. resume. I'm exactly. sure of it. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> and she's one of the top gymnasts in the state. Mm -hmm. So congratulations mm -hmm. to her and her family. That's exactly right. Nothing like a paid for education. Oh my goodness. Um, you know, this day and time, with college costs rising all the time. I think, uh, you know, as of today, Georgia and Georgia Tech announced increases in their semester fees. Uh, <sighs> Lord help. Yeah, I know. I believe that Georgia Tech's going up about 200 bucks a semester. and. Uh, Georgia's going up about 170 a semester, so thank you, there, state of Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. It is. That's it crazy. is. So, so, what else you got there, Tom? Well, you know, baseball, they're about to wrap up. Um, as we speak, they're playing a game right now. It's senior night for the baseball team. Um, yeah, it is. You know, um, Tiff County Blue Devils have struggled a little bit there on the diamond. Um, you know, they uh, Friday they go to um, coffee. Coffee. And uh, be a doubleheader. They'll actually have to win both games over there to be able to make it to the playoffs. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, it's a real big week, man. Yeah, they're, they're playing right now, week. senior night. That's and, right. And uh, all seven seniors were starting and in the lineup. They were playing veterans. Right. So, mm -hmm. um, I didn't get to get the score. I did not. I wasn't able to get the score before I came right. in. I was listening, but I never heard it. I, and um, right, I didn't hear it either. So, um, you know, and I, I'm glad you mentioned. You know, seven seniors, all of them starting tonight. You know, senior night, that's what it's all about. Give those kids a chance to get out there on the field, last time at home, um, you know, from their parents, grandparents, aunt, uncles, what have you. And, um, you know, that's that's what they've worked hard for, you know, throughout their life so far is get out there and play on that field. And, you know, certainly glad that uh, they allow those kids to do that. Yeah, they've uh, they've got the workout cut out for them uh, Friday. Oh, they got to go to coffee. Mm -hmm. And they've to get into the playoffs, they've got to win. They've, they've got, got to sweep them. They've got to sweep them, you know. And I'm sure coffee, that first game, will probably throw everything at them that they can, you know. they've got. Yeah, a, I'm sure we will, too. You know, I mean, they've got a couple ace pitchers over there, and I wouldn't be surprised to see both of them in that first game. If we, you know, if we don't win the first one, the second one doesn't mean anything. It doesn't so, mean anything. Yeah, exactly. You're, um, just, you're just playing for pride. That's right. We, uh, they have... Uh, they played veterans the other day, uh -huh. and, and uh, <clears throat> they uh, they lost fifteen to six. Right. Um, they played some kids who hadn't seen a whole lot of playing time mm. and, and that's that right. kind of stuff. That's and right. That's how you build. You know, you that's do. how you build guys and you build do. teams. You is do. in non-region games, playing them, getting them that experience. Getting them that experience. So next year, when these seven seniors are out, these uh, guys can step in with exactly, some game game plan. That's exactly right. And that's how you build programs. You're exactly right. It certainly right. is. So um, you know, some of the highlights in that game was a. Uh, you know, hits by mm -hmm. by Blake, Blake Walker, Briggs, Benson, mm -hmm. Zach Bullard, mm -hmm. and then uh, Tyler Carver and Will Booth and Cole Bennett pitched and uh, did pretty well. And uh, again, they're playing veterans again tonight. Again tonight. So, exactly. Exactly. So. Then they went over to Brunswick mm -hmm. and played uh, split split two split games two game. over there mm -hmm. in the region with Brunswick. And uh, they, uh, you know, they needed that win. They really oh, yeah. did. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it just didn't go the way they wanted to. But, you know, hey, they, you know, they got a chance to do it this week. That's right. 
I don't think they've swept a series. They haven't, not this season. Well, it's time. Exactly. It's time is now. Yeah, so. I think there's, uh, I think one series actually got swept, and then I think mm-hmm. on the other series, I think they actually have split. We split, and I don't know how it's laid out. I know we've beat Colquitt this year. Mm-hmm. I mean, like you said, we split with everybody except Lowndes. Lowndes swept us, mm-hmm. and uh, everybody else we split with. Right, so. right. It's just a jumbled up pile of teams, just like in any sport <laughs> oh, in, yes. in one six A. It's going to be piled up, That's and right. jumbled up. So yeah, exactly. So who knows? Maybe they can uh, bounce back and uh, win them games. That's right. right. You know, and in, in Region one six A, like we're at, I mean, if you don't win every game, it's a jump. It's just, yeah. You know, that playoff picture is always you know jumbled up all the way to the end. And I, I had some stats on the baseball team and stuff, but they were incorrect. And I didn't want to give oh, okay, stats just good. to be giving them. Right. They were incorrect. And, and I, the source I got them from obviously is not very credible because <laughs> nothing was right on oh, there. Oh, my. Wow. And so um, okay. I'll get with Coach Kirk and get some uh, right. some stuff. I was hoping to have him on today, but they had a game. I didn't mm-hmm. realize they had right. a Wednesday game. Yeah. So, um, so there they are. So. Yeah. Support them That's all exactly you can. Right. That's uh, exactly maybe they'll make right. the playoffs, and we'll be able to cheer them on in the mm-hmm. playoffs. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. what else we got there? Tom? Well, the region tennis tournament is actually tomorrow down in Valdosta. Yeah, know, that so, ought to be fun. You know, tennis is wrapping up. Um, you know, I don't have a lot of stats here as far as how their season has gone. I don't know if you've got anything or not. I um, don't. There's nothing out there. You know, um, you know. Once again, tennis is not one of the major sports. Um, you know, there's a lot of kids participate, but it just doesn't get the publicity a lot of other sports do, and um, you know, I'll, um, you know, hopefully they'll do well and reach a tournament and, um, you know, continue to move on. Um, I, you know, I know we've got some good kids out there and, um, you know, certainly if, you know, anyone's watching or watches this podcast in the future, you know, please, uh, please send us some information. We, uh, we'll get it on there if you'll get it to us. Yeah, definitely. Definitely will. <clears throat> so what else, Randy? What else we got going on? Man, there's so much stuff. I know. Soccer's still full swing. Um, there was a game going on last night. Exactly. And I couldn't find anything on it well, either. Well, they played last night. Um, I know the girls actually won. They played um, Cockwood County. Cockwood, yeah. I saw their bus. And um, you know, the girls actually did They did win four to nothing. Now, I don't have an update on the guys, but I know the girls won four to nothing. Uh, the girls have had a great season, um, you know, and um, I'm not sure they're you know, record, overall record, but I know they, had, they have had a great season and I'm uh, certainly looking forward then to probably, you know, going to the next level and getting to the playoffs, I'm sure. Uh, like I say, the guys, I just don't have a whole lot of information on and, um, you know, once again, you know, we do as much research as we can with the time we have and, you know, sometimes we, we need, we rely on you guys to kind of help yeah. us out. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how it goes. So, um, what were we just talking about? I'm going crazy. Well, we were talking about soccer. Uh, yeah, soccer. That's wrapping right. Up. And of course, spring is a time for track as well. Um, region meet is actually here um, tomorrow. So there'll be a lot of folks in Tiff County tomorrow with the region track meet. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of kids that participate in track. You know, you got a lot of different events. Um, so there'll be a huge crowd of folks out there to, uh, the high school tomorrow for this track meet, and um, it'll be at the high school. It'll be at the high school. You okay. know, we they built the new mini field out there. Um, That's right. They got know, the track we, and everything. Yeah, exactly. You know that that kind of took place when <clears throat> I was on the board of education and kind of got that uh, going there. And um, you know, and it's a great facility to have a track meet. Certainly, and, man. Space and exactly. You know, and a very nice uh, track, very nice stadium, mini stadium there, and um, you know, concession stands, what have you. But uh, you know, I don't know if you've ever been to a track meet for a whole meet and tried to. Not uh, a whole meet. I tell you, it, it's it gets long. There's, uh, you know, sometimes I have a couple events going on at one time just to kind of speed the process up, but um, it, it gets long and drawn out. <laughs> and you know, um, I've heard. <laughs> You know, you're there if you have a kid involved. I'll, I'll put it that way, or, or a relative maybe. Um, you know, I had a niece that actually competed a little bit on track, and we would go and um, you wait around for an hour before they compete, and then it may be another hour before they compete again. So it gets long and drawn out. Yeah, it, I, I bet. I can't imagine. Yeah, so, so um, you know, but uh, certainly wish wish our uh, track team well tomorrow at the region meet, and uh, I'm sure, uh, sure we'll be getting a report on that and, you know, Get some kids qualifying for 
some state tournament, I'm sure. Yeah, I, I'm looking right now. I want to see maybe when when it starts. When does what the time? Yeah, um, because I know, like you said, they'll be there for a while. Yeah, exactly. And I'd love to maybe stop by whenever I get done on the golf course tomorrow. So, and what time um, are you leaving to go play golf tomorrow? Well, I mean, you don't, you can't ever tell. Okay, I mean, all right. Well, Why are you so nosy? That's what I need to know. I, I just, you know, <laughs> you got any sick days left that I don't know about? Got, or? <laughs> every day's a sick day for me, but every day. I just, you know, I need to know these things. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm with you. You know, I need to know. I've got connections that might need to know. <laughs> I, I understand totally. <laughs> so there's not a time on there. Dadgummit. Okay. So, you know, and, and you know, Tiff County Public Schools, they do a, do a great job getting information out, but... I'm gonna say this: their website lacks a little bit. <laughs> it does a little bit. It really does. Um, the, you know, it's not user friendly, in my opinion, and uh, it's hard to find information on it. <laughs> so, you know, if anybody from the board office is watching, just uh, FYI, the most folks kind of have that same comment. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So, you know, try to find the uh, school <clears throat> schedule on there. Yeah. Well. I mentioned golf just now. I guess we'll segue into uh, sure. the golf team sure. and mention about the uh, the Tiff County High golf team mm -hmm. competed in the uh, the CD Moore Blue Devil Blue Invitational Blue. Mm -hmm. um, last week. Mm -hmm. They finished third, right? Out of I think there were seven teams, maybe maybe eight. I can't mm -hmm. remember. Um, <clears throat> finished third out of the, out of those teams, and uh, Jake Flint finished with a seventy one. Uh, mm -hmm. Low medalist was a kid from Moultrie. Stripling was his last name. And I had it right here. And for Eli Stripling, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. And uh, Eli was the low medalist at 70. So Jake was one shot off, as wow. were a couple of other kids, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, did a tremendous job mm -hmm. finishing third. Mm -hmm. And they've got, um, they've got actually next week is uh, the region. Mm -hmm. Which is the twenty second. Right. Then they got the Spring Hill Classic, the twenty seventh. Right. Sectionals on the sixth, and then the state golf tournament is actually here in Tifton. Oh, it's here this year. <clears throat> yeah. Great. So I know Jake's getting primed, you oh, know, yeah, for that. Absolutely. Obviously, it's his home course. He's yeah. actually the club champion out there. And uh, how about that? Wow. Yeah, he's got yeah. his own little parking place out there and everything. So he. Uh, Way to go, bud. That's right, man. So uh, he is actually supposed to be going to Valdosta State. I don't right. know if that's. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't either. know if he's officially signed, right. but right. Exactly. plans for him right now are to go to Valdosta State and play yep. golf, yep. which is wonderful. Yep. So, yep. Um, just want to keep that in mind, and and we'll keep you updated as we yeah. we know something. I'm right. trying to get with him and maybe doing a little okay. interview with him. Well, so, you know, I um, I've known Jake a long time. His uh, his um, family is uh, on his mother's side. Actually, uh, grew up uh, right there with him, and um, you know. Uh, Watch Jake grow up and become the person he is, and uh, you know, great golfer, great yeah. guy. He's he's uh, he's a good kid. He good is. Kid. He really is. Um, you know, and certainly wish him well. And if he, you know, about our state, wherever he, wherever he decides, yeah, wherever he goes, that's absolutely. right. Absolutely, and I know he'll do well. Yes, I agree. I so know he'll do well. <clears throat> but um, on the golf tip, I do want to mention um, we talk about starter programs, uh, feeder programs, mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. Um, our middle school team right. is undefeated, right? And uh, they've got a squad of kids that are just playing phenomenal <laughs> right now, man. <clears throat> it's it's kind of—I'm not going to say it's sad. It's very joyous. But mm -hmm. uh, they went down and competed in the uh, Harmon Invitational at Francis Lake in Lake Park Monday, mm -hmm. and uh, they had uh, Camden Collins, who, if you're not familiar with him, is Marshall Collins. Marshall Collins mm -hmm. and. and uh, What's his mother's name? Uh, Shannon. Shannon Collins. Uh -huh. They is their child, and he is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. And he has won nearly every low medalist uh, plaque, trophy, ribbon, Water. high five there is out there <laughs> um, at the tournaments this right, year. Right. Uh, going undefeated now. There's been a team effort there. You know, you have oh, kids gosh, yes. like uh, Charlie Cottle, Reed Cottle, uh -huh. Ryan Moore, Connor Smith, and mm -hmm. uh, Tate Greer all pulling the load. Right. And, and doing a lot. Um, but Monday, Camden finished with a 74. Charlie Cottle was a shot back at a 75. Right. Reed Cottle shot 85. Ryan Moore an 89. Connor Smith 86. And Tate Greer shot an 86. So uh, 
All them well, kids deserve a hand. Uh, the do. girls were Cassie Harrelson shot an 89 mm -hmm. and Anna Moore shot a 95. So um, the boys and the girls both are doing some really good things. Uh, those guys are just playing lights out, man. Well, that's great. And yeah, and they've got their region tournament coming up mm -hmm. next week. Mm -hmm. So uh, wish them guys luck too. And man, I tell you, that's great. Those scores sound about like mine if you add them all together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> Those scores are my front side scores typically. So they, uh, they, they're all and not only great golfers, just good kids. You know? uh, oh yeah, they are exactly and very good kids. We seem to say that a lot. We have a lot of good kids you know, in Duke County. Randy, and it just goes back. I mean, most of the time when you got a kid involved in something extracurricular, most of those kids are good kids. You know, they got to make the grace to participate, number one. And, um, you know, they just, that, the commitment level that's, you know, required this day and time, you know, that, that you know, doesn't leave a whole lot of time to do much else other than, you know, participate in whatever it is. I, you know, I, my own son, Mason, he, he was wrestling this afternoon and, um, went and practiced a little football first, punting, and then got through with that, and then went, uh, did a little wrestling a little bit, so really? you know, um, these kids are you know they they, they committing themselves to it and uh, put forth the time and effort. And most of, most of the time they do it on their own and at their own free will. Yeah, and that's the beauty of it, man. When you, you don't have to tell a kid to go practice oh, or get involved, mm -hmm. he wants to, and exactly you know things right. are going right. Absolutely, absolutely. You know, from, from a standpoint of you know they they bought into what the coaches are you know. Um, trying to implement and you know the program they've bought into the program you know if they're wanting to be involved they've bought into the program and they're out there for the right reasons yeah well uh, that's good we got a town full of them thank goodness absolutely that makes everybody's life a lot easier yes, especially the police out there it makes their, their, their job <laughs> it, a lot easier it does so. you know and, and that's the other thing Randy you know folks don't realize how important education is because you know a good school system makes the job of the sheriff's office and police department a whole lot easier. Yeah, and that's what people forget, man. You're right. They keeping kids involved, whether it's through school mm -hmm. or just take a guy like Mike Beeman. Just oh gosh, yes. You know, he he inspires kids mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. to be better. That's right. That's and right. you know, just something that small, we kind of take for granted a lot of times. No, we do. We do. We do. So and uh, you know, they that that really, I mean, honestly, does help our. Judicial system. Oh, I it guess. does. And, it does. <laughs> you know, judicial system, public assistance, public you know, civil servants, that it, kind of it, stuff. You know, it does. Um, you know, more kids that we can get educated and um, help them become productive adults, the better off this community is. Yeah, that's right. So, speaking of productive people, um, another segue. I'm not liking these segues I'm coming up with tonight. Um, there's a former Tiff County Blue Devil mm -hmm. who is actually on his way to being more productive, and that is uh, Zach, Zach Allen. Allen. He uh, plays for NC State, mm -hmm. or played for NC State, mm -hmm. and he is going into the NFL draft. Right, exactly. So um, he actually got injured last year, which is kind of odd. Mm -hmm. um, there's some irony here. He got tackled against Miami and <laughs> broke his leg right. and tore some tendons and mm -hmm. stuff, messed his leg up really bad. And he was tackled by another, another former <laughs> Blue Devil, Shayon Green. Shayon Green, that's and right. And so um, <laughs> the, people are worried about his draft stock and that kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, he he's going to declare himself eligible for the draft. Mm -hmm, and he mm -hmm. says that even if he doesn't get drafted, right. he's pretty sure he's going to get on with the team. Right. And, you know, you can't ever tell what's going to happen that's in right, that aspect. That's exactly but, right. Um, but there's been a lot of people who, uh, who have – there's been a few people who've shown some interest in uh, in uh, Zach, right, right, and he he is he's doing some good things up there at NC State. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know he's working out with Colin Kaepernick, who plays for the 49ers, which wow. is a pretty big deal. That is a big deal. <clears throat> that's a big deal. And um, I mean, he's going through the motions and everything, right. and and that's just phenomenal, man. You know, oh, gotcha. I don't know if we'll get to hear them call his name, but. They televised the draft like all four days right. now, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and it's on the NFL Network and that kind of stuff. That's right. So That's exactly right. Um, there's a good chance we could see it, and hey. we wish him all Absolutely. the luck, man. Absolutely. All the luck in the world. That's so. exactly right. That's exactly right. So, you know, and speaking of kids doing well, um, you mentioned another kid, Donnell Tuff. Certainly. He uh, signed with Gardner Webb today. Um, yep. Basketball scholarship and. Uh, you know, actually, he um, signs to play basketball. He may actually play a little football as well. So, uh, I hope know, he does. I do too. Um, you know, kid's a great football player, and for whatever reason, didn't play this year, and um, certainly uh, miss him out there on the field. But uh, 
you know, I know he's going to go up there and do well. Um, you know, we had a few kids from Tiff County go to Gardner State over Gardner Webb, excuse me, <clears throat> Gardner Webb over the years, and um, you know, I, I'm sure he's going to do well up there, and I'm I'm proud of him, and I, I know that uh, you know his his support group right there around him is uh, proud of him as well. So I know, and I know he'll do well. Yeah, he will. Um, also, I want to mention uh, while we're on basketball mm -hmm. is. The all Tift area team came right. out, mm -hmm. and uh, it was dominated by Brandon Green, Todrick Jackson, and Donnell Tuff, right. as it should have been. I mean, it, it makes no surprises sense. there. Not really. Um, the second team, DJ Bryant was on it, mm -hmm. um, and Ladarius Stewart. Right. And uh, DJ Bryant, I said all year was like my my quiet favorite. Uh -huh. He he did a lot of good things, That's and, right. and uh, the whole team man just really did some some good things. Oh gosh, yes. Um, I believe on the girl side we had Dee Dee DeShazer mm -hmm. and um, who else was on there? Um, I ain't got my glasses on tonight. <laughs> I'm going crazy. Dee Dee DeShazer. Um, we also had uh, Brakia Bateman. Brakia Bateman, yeah, that was the name I was thinking of. Yeah, Brakia Bateman, and the mm -hmm. Johnson girl I thought was on the the first team. Um, gosh, what's her name? I'm terrible. I'm awful. Well, that's okay. Alexis Johnson. Alexis Johnson. And uh, yeah, Dee Dee Shazer were first team, uh -huh. and then Brakia was second, second team. team. So congratulations to all those basketball players. That's they right. did a phenomenal they job did. this year, they did. and and you know I think the girls even. You know, played hey, above some expectations of a lot of they, people. They so. really did. They really did. And, um, you know, certainly a uh, great season kind of came to a heartbreaking end there. But, uh, yeah, you, you know, know, great season. It really was. Builds character. It does. It does. So, so, so anyway. Well, man, I think that's about all I got. Man, oh, I hold you. on. No, oh, hold on. Uh oh. I might have the most important story. Um, oh, gosh, yes. How should it, we forget? Lord, I know. They'll be on oh, us bad they'll one. throw us out the boat. <laughs> <laughs> and by throwing us out of the boat, we're talking about the fishing team. <laughs> That's right. Uh, the fishing team competed in a, a big bass tournament. I guess it's a state tournament. The first ever. The first ever mm -hmm. in um, in LaGrange, Georgia, right. at West Point. That's right. And uh, Taylor Woodall actually uh -huh. won first place. Right, exactly. So uh, he had a uh, fish that weighed in at seven pounds, five ounces. <laughs> wow. He got the biggest bass award. Uh-huh. And uh, oh, his total weight was seven pounds, five ounces. Won the biggest bass award with a bass that weighed three pounds, one ounce. Right, so, right. So um, congratulations to them. I know uh, Coach Begay is uh, ec ecstatic, exactly. excited and ecstatic. Exactly. And, uh, he did a lot. Did a lot to kind of get that organized, my understanding is, and kind of put that together um, through the, you know, help with GHSA, trying to get that organized. And, um, you know, that, uh, you know, fishing club, man. If that had that when I came through high school, that would have been phenomenal. I can't believe as many people like to fish around here. It's not just loaded with kids uh, wanting, to, wanting to do it. Yeah. So. Well, you know, the program's growing. I think this is their second year. Yeah. And, um, you know, um, a lot of kids involved. and. You know, Coach Big I did talk to him, you know, three or four weeks ago. He's had a lot of schools contact him and say, hey, we want to start our own program. Can you come help us? So that's going to be a um, something that in the next few years you're going to see, I think, uh, grow exponentially. Yeah, it, it will. Um, they've got a lot of things going on. Um, actually, the state high school tournament is going to be May 4th through 5th at Lake Lanier. Lake Lanier, uh -huh. So that's going to be interesting right oh, there. Gosh, yes. yes. Um, they uh, they're going to do a uh, kids fishing derby sometime in May. Uh -huh. um, I don't have the date, and right. I don't know why, but you can contact Coach Begay at three five six eighty one forty, or uh, contact him at bbegay at that's b e b b e g u e at tiffschools dot com, and he can get you more information on that. But uh, that'll be interesting—a uh, fishing derby out Absolutely. at the uh, Paradise. Paradise, yeah. Mm -hmm. Fun for the kids. Oh, I know gosh, when yeah. mine was younger, he enjoyed going oh, out yeah. there and doing that exactly, kind of stuff. So. Exactly, all those kids do. You go out there and watch those kids, man. It's a it's a blast. Um, they have a great time out there. Anytime there's any type of fishing event, that's exactly right. So they certainly do. Well, that wraps it up. Everything going on in sports that we have right now, Todd. Yeah. Um, we got a couple other things going on real quick, and we're gonna get out of here. Um, we are giving away some prizes with the next two weeks. Our sh next show will be on. 
May the first. May oh, it will not be either. Why? We have a meeting. Oh. Okay, it won't be May first. <laughs> Matt's rescheduled May second. I thought it was the third. No, it was May first. <sighs> My heart just got ripped out. But I'm sorry. Anyways, we got a meeting May first, so it won't be May first. May the second, maybe, if Donovan <laughs> let us. But what we're going to do, get back to it, we're going to have a bunch of uh, prizes we're giving away. And uh, Donovan, how can we get to those prizes? What do we need to do? Well, what uh, anyone that wants to uh, see what's going on is they simply go to tiffcountydevilslair.com slash giveaways. And uh, matter of fact, I've got that, uh, let's see, I've got that pulled up on the screen. And I've actually got pictures of some of the items that we're giving away. And basically all they do is uh, they go to the page, and there is uh, a little utility there that's embedded on the page. And all that we're asking is three things. Three things. Count them, Todd. Three things. Okay. One, <laughs> li <laughs> like the Devil's Lair on Twitter. Like them on Twitter. Twitter. Also like them on Facebook, like the Facebook page. Okay. And share the contest. Share the contest. Share the contest. Right. And by sharing, you basically tweet it out. And uh, there's instructions on there, like once you tweet out the, conte mm -hmm. the contest, where you can actually copy the URL out of the uh, address bar in your browser, mm -hmm. put it in there, and then you're entered to win. And what we're going to do is... Uh, which we were going to do May 1st, but now it looks like we may be doing it May 2nd. <laughs> anyway, we're going to collect all of the names, and basically we're going to take them in and put them in a, um, probably a hat. And Not a visor, but a hat. No. no okay, just was checking. <laughs> that, that, that's right. That's right. And... Uh, <laughs> What we'll do is, we, you know, everybody that enters, we'll put their name on a piece of paper, put it in the hat, and then you guys on camera, live, will start pulling out names, and we'll just go down, you know, progressively through the various things that we're giving away. Like one one of the items is, uh, you know, a, a black mug. Right. And, you know, you say, well, this drawing is for a black mug. Reach in the hat, pull out a name, and that's the person who will wind up winning that. And uh, I think we've got... It's like 11 items or something like that. Yeah. Right. We may uh, add more between now and then. Who knows? Well, hopefully not. I mean, <laughs> I have to go back in and revise the, the, the contest if you do that. So I get what you're saying. More swag. Yeah. I'll get on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. But that that's all they have to do right there is do that. Good. Well, that's pretty easy. That is easy. It seems too easy. Yeah. Now, can can family members win? I, I've, no. I've... <laughs> I've already I've already That's told right. my wife that too. <laughs> no, n nobody affiliated with the Narrow Media or any of the hosts, co-hosts, or anything like that are eligible to win any of these contests. Wow. Would that be fair if you guys or family members? No, I guess not. You know. Oh, oh I see. I understand. But my family's the one who's not very. Well, you know, if you got a if <laughs> you got very, a, uh, if you got a distant that. cousin or something like that, you know, have them do it, and well, then y'all can handle that internally. I'm with you. I understand. <laughs> so, so log on to our social media. It's, That's right. It's um, on our new lower third. I'm blocking my hand, aren't I? <laughs> no, no, no. You're not. Okay. You're not. And, and it's it's yeah. All the information I've updated the lower third. I actually have the voicemail number uh, on the lower third, mm -hmm. as well as the Twitter account. And to make it easy to get to the Facebook page, all you have to do is go to fb.me/slash. TC Devil's Lair. Wow. And the reason why you're able to do that is because Facebook owns FB.me. Bet uh, you didn't know that, did you? You have learned me something yet <laughs> there again. There you go. There you go. Wow. Every time we come out here, it's at least 10 things we learn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if they go to the page, that contest is actually an application. There will be a little thing at the uh, uh, below the big banner that says giveaway, and they can click there. But Or they can go to the webpage, TiffCountyDevilsLair.com slash giveaways. Cool. Slash giveaways. Right. Hey, you know, and if you win, hey, I think uh, we can arrange maybe an autograph or two. 
Our autograph. Oh, okay. I didn't, I, was, I didn't know where you was going with that. I mean, <laughs> no, uh, no problem. Yeah, I'll be glad to sign anything you got. Uh, that and a dollar and fifty cent will buy you a Coke, I'm sure. It will. <laughs> Out of the machine at Tennessee Nissan. There so. you go. That's Anyways, good. well, I guess that's it for this week, man. Uh, we're kind of running out of things. At the, the end of the season's coming. That's so, right. Uh, the second actually might be our last show. Ooh, wait a minute. What? About 18 weeks and two days, Randy. Your birthday? Come on, you idiot. <laughs> football. Oh, fo football. Okay. Fo 18 weeks and two days. Something like that. We're, we're counting down. I thought you might have been pregnant or something. I didn't know you count down the days. I, didn't. I have to ask these things. I know you do. I mean, this day and time, you do have to ask. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So football, 18 weeks. Yeah. Man, that's not far away either. It's not. It's that's not. like four months and... Well, it's not far it's away. It's not far away. That's so, right. It's like, just watch the calendar. Watch the calendar. <laughs> I will. I will. Is it going to do flips or something? Well, at the end of every month. Flavor every month. Okay, flip it flips. over. I'm That's with right. you. That's so. exactly right. You follow me now? I'm with you. Okay. So. <laughs> All right, guys. We're going to get out of here and quit wasting your time. And ours. <laughs> and uh, go to uh, go to our uh, social media and, and, and like us and, and share us and... High five us and Instagram us, uh, tweet us. We got all that stuff out there to uh, interact, man. If you're at a game, Instagram yeah, it. That's exactly right. Send man. it to Send us. It to Let's it. see it. You know, post some tweet pics, it. Post some pics on our Facebook page, man. We'd love that. Yep, love to. So interact with us. We're, uh, we're looking forward to it. Win you some swag. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Not the first, but maybe the second. So until then, I'm Randy Meadows. I'm Todd Gann. And this is the Devil's Lair. Fear the pitchfork. Go Big Blue.